What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, I want to talk about the DEC in the Dow. As you can tell, we have a little over 1.3 billion DEC in the Dow. And there's been a lot of discussion that I've seen on Twitter and in Discord regarding what to do with it. Basically, uh, or what, what to do with it after the most recent town hall or one of the recent town halls where Matt talked about the fact that he considers the DEC in the Dow to be burned and that he will vote against any proposal that tries to spend it in any way. Again, he's thinking maybe we could do something in the future, but for the most part, he considers it burned. Now, I, I want to walk people through like the actual mechanics of, of the flywheel because I think most people are are kind of missing this. They're seeing, you know, oh, the Dow earned this much money, right, from the, the pack sale, therefore it has this much value. So how can Matt say, you know, we're gonna we're gonna, you know, just dismiss 1.3, you know, billion DEC, which is which at peg is 1.3 million dollars, right? So it's not a small amount of value by any means. But Matt wants to burn it, and I agree with him. I think I think anything that goes into the Dow should essentially be burned anyway. And the reason for that is how the actual mechanics of the flywheel are supposed to work in the long run. Now, what makes this difficult for people to grasp, and I, I don't, I'm not trying to like throw shade or you know say anybody, say, I'm not trying to throw shade on anybody or make anybody feel bad about it. This is a very new concept that is difficult to wrap your head around, right? It was difficult for me to wrap my head around until I actually had a lot of conversations regarding how you know it works from a conceptual standpoint. Will we see it happen? I mean, we could potentially, right? And we saw maybe flashes of that with the Terra Luna ecosystem, which this is loosely based off of. But, you know, the, the base mechanic that everybody understands is, okay, you burn SPS for DEC, right? And then, you know, we use that DEC in game. Eventually it gets burned in guilds or, uh, you know, other, other sinks within the game, uh, or it goes to the DAO where, you know, Matt considers it burned. So the idea is, okay, we're not just transferring value by burning SPS and then burning that DEC, right? Especially for setting it to the DAO, the reason I'm so against it, I'm sure many others are, including Matt, is it delays the flywheel effect. So what is the flywheel? Okay, you burn that SPS for DEC, and then the value, sorry, the demand, right, for SPS, or for DEC, I should say, all gets transferred over to SPS. Now, what you don't want is for that DEC to come out and recirculate. So I'm going to I'm just going to give you a, a small example here with very easy numbers, because here's here's the core of it. Right. And I'm going to try and I'll try to break it down as much as possible. The Dow is holding one point three million dollars in DEC right now. The Dow also, according to the white paper, and this has not been changed with any proposal, is going to receive over the course of 65 months, 400 million SPS, right? That was laid out in the original white paper. That is how much is allocated to the Dow. And that does not even include the amount of SPS that has been, uh, you know, given for, uh, what's that called? I don't, actually, I don't even know if they have it here anymore. But the amount of SPS that was uh, put in there for Rift Watchers and SPS that was put into the DAO for uh, the node licenses, right? If you buy node licenses, I think 80% gets burned, but 20% goes to the DAO. So the DAO actually has more over the course of the next couple of years, more than 400 million SPS. So conceptually, this is how the flywheel is supposed to work. You see SPS is at 3.1, almost 3.2 cents right now. DEC is roughly a peg. I, again, I'm just going to use easy numbers here to help you guys understand. 400 million SPS at three cents is worth roughly $12 million. So over the course of the 65 months that this is being distributed to, to the Dow, which we're now, I think, like two and a half years into, um, with, with that being said, right, that's $12 million, right? Just a, an easy, easy math problem, 400 million times three cents, so 0 0.03 gets you $12 million in value that the Dow is going to receive from the initial allocation of SPS. Well, okay, let's say we burn the all of the DEC in the Dow, 1.3 billion. And this is significant now because we are at a point where people don't have enough DEC in circulation, right? So outside of the Dow, and therefore are burning SPS regularly. We're up to 31.36.1 uh, million. So if that DEC comes back out, it recirculates, it slows down the flywheel, but here's the magic effect, right? And here's the indirect kind of conceptual uh, viewpoint for the Dow. If we burn all that DEC in the Dow, meaning that it's never gonna come out again, 
So that's 1.3 billion. And people will need more DEC for rebellion packs. They're going to need more DEC for land, more DEC for guilds and whatever other things that the team can come up with in the future. If they need all of that stuff, if the community needs all of that stuff, if SPS goes from three cents in our example up to 3.5 cents because of that, the DAO will then receive not 12 million, but $14 million in value. So again, it's not, you know, it's, it's not apples to apples, which is why it's hard, you know, for, for people to wrap their heads around and we're not going to see the effect immediately, right? People are going to look at this and say, wait, you want to burn $1.3 million in the Dow? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I do want to burn $1.3 million in the Dow because if that leads to SPS rising above 3.25, 3.3 cents, right? That will get us the $1.3 million back. In fact, if it goes to three and a half cents, which we were close to recently, that's going to get us $2 million worth of value that the Dow receives over time. So DEC, in my opinion, should never be coming out of the Dow. SPS, on the other hand, could, but we're waiting on the long term for SPS to go up in value. And so... You know, Matt has this ha has this concept where you know he's he's even thinking that in, in the the long term, like future, he wants to get SPS so high up to the moon where value is just constantly being driven to SPS through DEC burns that the company doesn't even need to sell anything, right? They have their stash of SPS, and if it just keeps rising in value, they just pay all their bills by by uh, selling that SPS or burning it for DEC on the market, wh whatever the case is, right? So uh, again, that's, that's, that's a little bit more outside the scope of this video, but my point is that the more DEC recirculates back in, you delay this flywheel effect. And it's not, it's a very indirect relationship, but it has the potential to offset all of the value that people think is going to be vanishing from the Dow, right? So the way that the Dow would be looking at this is like, okay, we just received $1.3 million from, um, we just received $1.3 million from this pack sale and from uh, Rift Watchers, whatever. We want to burn that $1.3 million because we're already getting 400 million SPS. And you know, it'd be great if by burning every single DEC token that comes into the DAO over the next 65 months minus two and a half years, if it does that, if we if we burn all of this DEC and we get the price of SPS to go from three cents to, I don't know, 50 cents, a dollar, well, then all of a sudden the DAO is receiving from the SPS initial allocation 200 to 400 million SPS, or sorry, 200 to 400 million dollars in SPS. You get what I'm saying? So uh, again, it's, it's, um, you, you got to wrap your mind around and, and not think of it as like apples to apples and not a direct correlation or, or direct effect. But I, I'm just happy that Matt, you know, put that out there, that that's how he feels. We're seeing a lot of larger stakeholders agree that, you know, DEC should never be coming out of the Dow. And ultimately, if you want SPS to go to the moon, we absolutely, absolutely should not let any DEC come out of the Dow. Now, I made a video about this recently saying that the only way that I would agree to this would be if the Dow was spending DEC to buy up SPS, loose SPS off the marketplace, which it, it could use for the future. But if you remember in the, at the beginning of that video, I said, I think it should be burned, right? That's number one for me. But the only exception I would make is if we're buying DEC or buying SPS with the DEC. Now, I, I don't even think that there's a viable way to do that because I think everybody would start to front run it. But at the end of the day, I just don't think we should even bother. We should just burn every single DEC token that goes into the DAO and transfer that value immediately or maybe not immediately, but indirectly and over time into SPS. Because if that's never coming back out again and we only have 5.1 billion and we're going to need 7.5 billion for for uh, you know land and you know a couple more billion hopefully for rebellion and mini sets and stuff in the future that's all got to come from SPS. And to me, the less SPS there is, right? Because there's only 3 billion that will ever be minted, of which now we have a 2.9 billion maximum supply. The more that comes down, the scarcer it becomes. So again, I, I just wanted to kind of explain that because I see a lot of people uh, arguing or, or not understanding the concept fully. Again, I, I, it's just, it's, it's difficult. I understand. But um, I, I don't know. I believe that, that that is the future, right? It's not an apples to apples thing. We might burn $1.3 billion or $1.3 uh, million worth of value. And then the market tanks and SPS actually goes below three cents. Uh, but in the long run, 
if we can create enough demand, mainly the team, if the team or community, however it works, can create enough demand for SPS, where we are constantly burning it, and sorry, not just SPS, but DEC, constantly burning it and giving it that indirect utility through DEC, it will go up over time. And every little tick of the decimal point, right? 3.1, 3.2 cents. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of value, right? Just three million, or sorry, three cents to three and a half cents is $2 million worth of value. It goes from 12 million that it's going to receive an SPS value to 14 million. So what is that? Um, 3.5. So a quarter of a penny. So it moving by 0.25 cents, right? So it goes from three to 3.25 cents. That's a million dollars based on the 400 million SPS that are coming in. So just something to think about. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully I explained it well, but uh, if I didn't and it's still confusing, let me know and I can try to uh, expand on it a little bit more. But uh, that's, you know, that's that's how I feel about the flywheel effect. Uh, that's how I feel about DEC in the Dow. And it seems like Matt and many other of uh, many of the other top stakeholders are feeling the same way about it too. So I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.